Welcome to this introduction to Revit Architecture 2016. What we're going to look at is a simple introductory course to Revit Architecture so that you can obviously learn the basics and start to become a competent Revit Architecture user. Now what we're going to do in this particular chapter is give you an overview of Revit, things like the standard terminology, the interface, how to start a Revit project and how to view and navigate your Revit projects. The first thing we're going to look at is Building Information Modeling or BIM for short, B-I-M. Now it's a buzzword, it's an acronym that's been thrown around the industry for some time. Now the particular BIM acronym, what it stands for is the ability to take information from your building model. So what I've done here is I've opened up one of the basic sample models that you get with Revit Architecture 2016. And I just want to demonstrate how building information modeling works. So if you look on the left hand side of the screen there, you can see the properties palette. And at the moment we're in a sheet and it's telling us that that is a sheet and it's the title sheet there. Over on the right hand side of the screen is the project browser. So you can see all the different views and information, schedules and so on that you can look at in your Revit architecture model. Right now we're looking at the title sheet. So you can see it there, it's got some nice rendered views. It's got a nice Autodesk title block that Autodesk provide with the sample Revit models. Let's go and look at a floor plan now. Let's look at level one over here in the project browser on the right. If I double click that, there's the floor plan. I've got the usual Autodesk tools. So if I roll up on the wheel, I can zoom in and look at that plan, roll back on the wheel, zoom out. I can also hold down the wheel on the mouse and pan just like I can in all other Autodesk products. Now building information modeling, what does that give me? Well you'll notice I can put a room legend on the actual sheet view, the plan view. It's not a drawing, it is a 3D model. Let me show you what I mean. If I come down here to the default 3D view, there's the 3D view there of this particular Revit model. You can see the topography, you can see the model itself, you can see the trees and the contour lines and so on. If I come down here, I've got an east elevation, like so, and you can see all the level information here, the little bubbles there, and all the grid information here, A, B, C, and so on. So you can see that all this building information modeling allows me to create a 3D model and generate information from it, such as views like elevations and sections. What it also gives me though is the ability to do things like a solar analysis, which you'll notice there, can you see the sun path? That's the yellow part of that 3D view. And I can also do different 3D views, so let's have a look at the kitchen. So give it a few seconds to load up because that's probably a rendered view, so the kitchen is loading up. And there you can see the kitchen. Now there's not that much light there, probably because of the sun study is set at a particular time. If I come down in the project browser to let's have a look at something like renderings or legends or schedules. If I look at schedules here, I've got a planting schedule. So if I open that up, there's my planting schedule and there's a count of all the different plants that are going to go into that particular garden for landscaping. Now you don't just have to use it for plants, it can be used for door schedules, window schedules and so on. So that's how building information modeling works in Revit architecture. You have a 3D model that you generate and then you take that information from the model and it allows you to do things like scheduling, it allows you to do things like quantities and pricing and so on. So the whole idea is you have a 3D model with all of the information that you need to potentially go out to construction. 